What's up guys? Back with another educational video and this week we're talking about growth hormone. Now I got the inspiration for this from uh, a post on YouTube that was done by Dr. Eric Berg who is a chiropractor who makes nutrition videos. If you guys stay tuned I'm gonna have a what the fitness post on this also on Friday but for now we'll keep it clean. Berg uh, made a video about building muscle and in it he talks about how if you're going to be low carb and build muscle um, that fasting is a good idea because of the increase in growth hormone from fasting. I, I see this argument made a lot by people who uh, like intermittent fasting. They say well you don't have to, you can actually build more muscle or just as much muscle on intermittent fasting because you have an increase in growth hormone when you fast. I did a video about intermittent fasting and a recent randomized control trial that showed actually more lean body mass loss uh, doing intermittent fasting than doing just regular dieting, almost twice as much lean body mass loss. So make sure you guys check that out. I think it's important to understand that there's a lot of myths that surround growth hormone. When I was in graduate school, I actually started looking into this a little bit more because I read a paper that mentioned that growth hormone in adults was not anabolic to skeletal muscle and it referenced several studies and I thought well that can't be right growth hormone is obviously anabolic I mean it's called growth hormone duh and so I started looking up these studies and what you see in these studies I actually wrote a big article uh, on biolane.com called growth hormone great expectations and I'll put the link in the in the description where you guys can read the article yourself growth hormone First off, in the physiological range, definitely not anabolic, okay? So there's a big difference between a physiological increase in growth hormone uh, versus injecting it. There's a huge difference. But even in studies where they inject growth hormone, what they see is that people's lean body mass increases. And people think that lean body mass is the same thing as muscle mass. Those are not the same things. Lean body mass is all non-fat tissues, bone, skin, connective tissue, organs, all that stuff. What they find is that growth hormone increases total body water significantly, which total body water, water shows up as lean body mass on a DEXA scan. It also increases connective tissue mass, but it does not seem to increase skeletal muscle mass, at least not in the studies at the doses they're given. And again, these are super physiological doses. It's not from fasting, okay? So if anything was gonna be anabolic to skeletal muscle, it would be this. But when they look at muscle cross-sectional area, they simply do not see hypertrophy from growth hormone administration. So that's with exogenous growth hormone. That's injecting large amounts of growth hormone. So the idea that fasting is gonna give you a boost of growth hormone that's gonna be anabolic that is not supported by any research that exists. I'll say it again. The idea that fasting is anabolic because it increases growth hormone is not supported by any scientific literature. People say, well, then why would growth hormone increase? What, what's the point of growth hormone? Well, growth hormone does increase lipolysis and it increases as fuel mobilization. So when you fast, your body has to make energy from somewhere so growth hormone is secreted to help mobilize fuel. Also happens in the calorie deficit. But let's just, let's just think about this for a moment. If you were fasting and not getting food, building tissue is an energetically expensive process. It requires energy, aka ATP. Would it make sense when you are fasting, which is gonna be sensed as, you know, controlled starvation, would it make sense during a famine to increase energy output and build more tissue when it means that you would actually accelerate death from starvation. It doesn't even make sense from a teleological perspective. So the claim that intermittent fasting is either as anabolic or more anabolic than eating because it increases growth hormone is a complete fallacy, not supported by any research, and it's not even supported by the research where they inject large amounts of growth hormone. Like I said, if you guys wanna check me, you can check my references, you can check out the article, and I'm sure you will give me your feedback in the comments. Make sure to get in there and give your opinion whether or not it's educated or not, because that's what we do in America. All right, guys, 
If you like the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Click some of the links in the description. Go buy some of my stuff and I hope you guys have a great week.